ready to rob this joint? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Jerry Hicks on the beat. Guys, I haven't wore a do-rag in a long time, but I, I needed to do this because uh, imagine a big split right here and my head is just like, you know, it's not, it's not nice, it's not nice. All right, cool. So this is Dan. Shout out to Dan. This is a bittersweet video. I no longer cut Dan. This must have been the second to last time I cut his hair. Actually, I'm gonna put on this video the last time I cut his hair or a picture of it because after this specific haircut, I chose to take the fade a little bit higher. Uh, that's the thing about recording your haircuts. You get to study it. It's kind of like being into sports and you play a game, you go back, you review it. So I highly, 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 highly recommend you guys to record yourselves. You don't have to post it. This could be just for yourself, but you'll learn something along the way. So check this out, Dan. I remember when Dan first came to me and this was about three years ago. He came and asked for, I think it was like a number three on top. And I think it was like a number three all over actually. And I'm looking at him and obviously he's got a lot going on. Shout out to Dan. Dan, look, I'm not roasting you, brother. I'm just sharing, okay? We're just sharing here, guys. All right, so with Dan, obviously he's got a lot going on. And as a barber, I feel like I have to find ways to enhance your look, let's just say. So with Dan, I chose to after, and this is after I, I did a three all over. I don't know why, you know, I was brand new. So I, I just said afterwards, hey, why don't, why don't we try a bald face since you want to keep what you got left on top? So I went ahead and suggested it. He said, okay, cool, I'll do, we'll do it next time I come back. And he came back about a month and a half later, almost two months. And by that time, his hair was a little bit longer. And uh, we went for like a comb over look and I went for the bald face. guys excuse that loud ass noise that's the refrigerator next to me which is gonna which is gonna go ahead and, and uh continue on with this all right so look i got my clippers my my wall seniors cordless and uh i'm using it to set the ball guideline and because the blade is not set as tight as a trimmer it's not gonna leave a harsh line right and i'm going ahead and i'm just going all the way around so i can see it and then i'm just gonna bald it out with the clippers we're still gonna use the clippers on this i don't do this all the time i switch it around from time to time to find what works best for different clients um and i hey i still consider myself a student in this game even though i've I, i've only been in the game i'm close to five years now and uh yeah I, i'm still studying myself like i said before even after i saw this video I, I i chose to switch it up a little bit and it's cool because your clients will notice that too man that you're doing your best you're doing your best to to make sure you find as many different ways or the best ways to make them look their best. All right, so you go ahead and do that and they will notice. Okay, so right now I'm setting the foundation, not the foundation, but I'm, I'm creating the shape because sometimes it's hard for me to just fade up when there's still a lot of bulk around the ridge area. Um, and so, you know, I'm the highest I go when it comes to that part, it's a one and a half. And then, and this is the one and a half with the Babyliss Guard because I do feel like there's a bit of a difference between the Babyliss Guard and, ooh, you heard the difference, the refrigerator just shut off, perfect timing. So anyways, I use the Babyliss Guard from time to time just to switch it up and see what works best. So uh, yeah, this is the one and a half, uh, this is all the way closed. And when I come back to the comb over area, I always use a higher guard. Um, and to me, this was, for a while, this was a bit of a pain in the ass. You see where it's still a little dark, um, where it drops around the ridge. 
that I struggled with until probably the last time I cut him, which was kind of sad because again, I never really recorded him till this time. Actually, no, that's a lie. I did record him right before the shutdown. He was actually one of my videos and I lost it. So I got to, uh, I got to redeem myself when I came back from the shutdown and recorded him. I had to, it was a must. I was happy he came back. He actually came back super wolfed out. So this was a great transformation. But yeah, that ridge area is a mother. All right, so check this out, guys. Look, check this out. Mira, mira, mira esto, mira esto, mira esto, mira esto. Look, 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 guys. This part is so annoying. I think I go through this area a dozen million freaking times because I'm trying to lighten it out, but I don't know if it was just like me being scared of using a low guard and going high enough. I'm over here just going through that area. Let's zoom in a little bit, guys. Let's zoom, let's zoom in. I'm just playing around at this point. I don't know why. I don't know why. And this is why the time after this recording, I took the fade much higher and it worked out much better because I was able to lighten that up. I don't, I, I mean, I could have done it at, at this point, but imagine around that same ridge on the other side, I have a one and a half. Why the hell I didn't just drag the one and a half? Look, I'm over here using freaking texturizing and shears. Fonts, come on, man. Come on, Fonts! Look, I'm over here just playing around. You see that? I'm just playing around at this point. I'm just combing around. I'm wasting time. I'm over here not believing in myself because that's what this is. I'm just combing away. I'm just playing around with that area. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Guys, look, when you get to a point where you're just cover, you're going around the same area, doing the same thing, just, just go lower with the guard. Go lower with the guard. Take the chance. That's what this video is about. Take the chance, believe in yourself, and, and through that, you'll learn what works best. But if you're doing the same thing as expecting a different result, first of all, that's called insanity. All right, and nobody watching this video should be aiming for insanity. We should be aiming for sanity, not insanity. Okay, we're trying to be sane barbers, not insane barbers, all right? So anyways, we're over here doing the part. This is the simple stuff. Just watch the video. Let's, let's, let's keep watching the video.
Okay, guys, so as you can see, uh, after slightly getting ready to line everything up in the front, I'm going through that area again. And once again, guys, I'm letting you know, because that's one of the reasons I'm showing this video. If you're fine, you have to pay attention to what your actions are. If you are doing the same thing and it's not working out, you have to take a chance. I'm literally wasting time. These are the things that waste time, especially if you don't have a system. And I'm telling you, record yourself. Record yourself with a phone. You don't even need a high quality camera like I have, which I mean, it's not really the highest quality, but you get what I'm saying. Like you don't need to do what I'm doing. Do what you do, do the best that you could do. And through that, you will, you will find who you are, how you cut, how you can improve. You want that. And it's harder to do that if you don't watch yourself later after you cut like it's it's uh, i'm learning that uh through a, a joshua p uh online course right now and um uh which by the way reinvest into yourself I, after like four years in this industry i'm just now invested in myself i'm looking forward to uh take a class with uh tone sosa in texas and yeah like it's time guys it's time you got to reinvest into yourself it's time to level up because otherwise we're just going to be stagnant and we're going to hit that cap and i don't know about y'all but i'm trying to make the most money possible in less time i don't want to do 12 hour shifts i'm fully capable of doing it but i don't want to do it if you if you got a family you know what i'm talking about you want to be home you want to you want to maximize your time so i want to make more money in this i want to make the most money in this industry possible period and if it's if if there's other ways to do it if there's other ways besides the way we know why not do it why not go for it so anyways i'm losing myself in this in this but that's that's basically basically what's going on with me right now that's a little quick like update with, with my life so uh yeah so back to what i was doing just uh just just, just study yourself Study yourself. Okay, so I need you guys to pay attention to this part. This is important. So when you deal with a client that has thin hair, that's balding, you don't want to hit them with heavy product. You don't want to hit them with a gel. You want to hit them with something light. Uh, normally, I mean, I don't really use gel that much. There's clients that just want it, so I have gel. But I, that's not the first thing I push. So there was a time that Dan would go for products for heavy products like gel, for, for example. And I had to make him understand that products like gel, and Dan's not the only one, there's plenty of, of people like Dan uh, that think this way, but you as the barber have to make them, your client, uh, understand that some products don't work for them. In Dan's case, his hair's too thin for a product like gel. Gel, in his case, is gonna bring everything down. It's gonna flatten the the hair down and it's gonna make him look more bald than he is we all know dan is bald it's clear to us for some of you guys you're probably thinking bro chop it off but you know what it's dan's freaking hair and if dan wants to have some freaking hair on top regardless of how bald he is guess what let him have that victory we're gonna let dan rock it out till uh, as long as he can all right and if he wants to have some freaking hair let him have some freaking hair just make him look as good as possible in his case instead of using something like gel i would use something like clay a little bit of it and then come back with hairspray hairspray in most cases is great it's a great product but specifically for somebody that has thin hair are you listening huh specifically for somebody that has thin hair it's not a heavy product it's gonna give them some hold and it's not gonna flatten the freaking hair down it's not gonna flatten the hair down okay it's gonna make it look full because in the front profile dan is gonna look different you're gonna see what i'm talking about but from the back it's there's like there's no fixing that unless he wants a freaking man unit or smp or something like that but guess what he doesn't want that he just wants to make it work with what he has so guess what we're gonna do we're gonna make it work
All right, so that was the result for that day. Now, I want you to see the results for the last time I cut him and I feel like that result was uh, much better than the one on this video, but I just felt like I still had to show this video just to give you guys some perspective. Um, but I absolutely felt more confident with the result. Excuse me, hold up. I think that was a little bit of acid reflux. Um, but yeah, the ball line was much higher in the last time I cut them. Even the sides, I didn't struggle as much. So yeah, that was that was the result for the last time I cut Dan. Guys, I hope you liked the video. Let me get up out of here. Yo, I love you guys. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, all right? Okay, I'm not playing. I'm out.